imagine all the stories bursting to be told across this rich tapestry of people and culture and experiences. And I am so proud to represent the Motion Picture Association of America today in partnership with the Asia Pacific Screen Awards as we celebrate the MPA APSA Academy Film Fund. This scheme has helped to create some incredible films since it began, including a separation by Asghar Fahadi from the Islamic Republic of Iran. For best feature film, a separation. Which went on to receive, as we've heard, more than 50 awards, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. The MPA APSA Film Fund has started to change the face of cinema in the Asia Pacific region in a very significant way. The winner of the UNESCO Award, Memories on Stone from Iraqi Kurdistan. I would like to dedicate this award to my people in Kurdistan. This film, I get fund for uh, a script in uh, Asia Pacific Screen Awards. We're delighted to award the $25,000 to this Iranian-born Swedish filmmaker, Maryam Ibrahami, for her project, No Burkas Behind Bars. Asia Pacific is alive with vibrant and fearless filmmakers telling their stories. Just two weeks ago, we rejoiced in the success of a film from one of our most courageous filmmakers, Marianne Mebrahini's documentary, No Burkas Behind Bars, which won the prestigious Documentary International Emmy Award. In 2018, no fewer than three films that had received grants from the fund screened in the official competition at the Cannes Film Festival, Burning, by Lee Chung Dong from the Republic of Korea, Aika by Sergei Dvorzevoy from Kazakhstan, and The Wild Pear Tree from Turkey. The APSA Jury Grand Prize goes to the film Burning. We thank you, APSA, MPA, and all the people who have been with the film Burning. And then at the Venice Film Festival in 2018, two more films were given their premieres. The River by Emir Bagazan from Kazakhstan and an amazing film by the Indonesian director, Garen Negroho, Memories of My Body. The winner of this year's award is Memories of My Body. It is so critical that we and so many partners in this extended family provide a network that allows these stories to be heard, not only throughout this enormous region, but around the world. These stories matter, not only in their own right, but because they're part of a bigger and ever widening story, the story of all of us.